Hi and welcome. Stacy Thatcher here from Rockasoft. Um, today I'm going to make a video to show you how you can use our PTZ Joy PTZ camera controller software to turn a Xbox 360 controller into a professional PTZ camera controller. That's super precise. Uh, PTZ Joy allows you to connect um, your Xbox 360 controller to a computer or a live production system such as a TriCaster or vMix um, and not use it to just simply control your cameras left, right, up, down, but um, control them with precision, reliability, and better performance than a lot of the PTZ um, joystick controllers out there. Um, so this tool actually allows you to um, use any USB joystick, like a Logitech, um, uh, we have a Mad Cats here or a professional joystick as well as the Xbox controller or any other gaming controller um, and control PTZ cameras with variable speeds, um, simultaneous pan tilt zoom and different joystick performance modes. So to demonstrate this let me just kind of show you a little bit about my setup. Um, I have my little car demo here in the background. I actually have four cameras set up um, and um, on my computer that's running a vMix and what you're gonna see is actually NDI streams coming from the camera so two of them are gonna be on me and my setup down here and then two of them um, that you can see the, the outputs here are gonna be for while so you can see while I play with the Xbox um, and of course I have my Xbox 360 connected to my laptop via a USB port so once you have everything connected PTZ Joy will actually automatically recognize the Xbox 360 controller and then it's super easy to configure all the buttons and all the levers on there and you can customize it any way you want. Um, but let me show you an example that I've actually already created. Um, let me pull this up here so you can see it. I have this. This is actually already on our blog but as you can see there's a little diagram here of how I configured it. Um, and I'll post a link to this um, below the video. But I just wanted to quick show you that just to show you how that, that I've already kind of set everything up for demo purposes. But um, let's get started. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to switch my view over here to my Xbox. And over here on the main controller, you want to make sure USB Joy is turned on. Um, and then to map out your buttons you're going to go down here into the settings panel and then you'll see this little window open over here um, so then you're going to you know select your joystick from here my joystick here is two and then also we've actually added a new feature to our latest version of ptz joy controller right here this is our game mode so this is great for um, you know when you're working with gaming controllers and this um, mode basically gives you um, a little more precise functionality to program buttons and the joystick levers that are specific to gaming joysticks um, such as these you know four-way directional um, buttons here on the Xbox controller as well as the swivel run rudder handles on a gaming joystick like the Logitech I showed you earlier um, that can now be used for zoom in and out commands. so really cool new feature and I'll get into that in one of our next videos um, but there are actually, um, you know, a lot of different commands that you can set up here. Um, to set a command for a specific button, what you do is you just click on any button that you want to configure. So I'm going to click on this. And if you can see here up, up at the top of the screen, you can see the button light up green. So that is how you know what button is what. And that's the drop down menu that you use to configure the command that you want. Um, you know, and you can, there's a lot of different commands, like I said, you can, um, you know, call presets, you can switch cameras, you can run macros, you can switch inputs on a vMix or TriCaster. I actually um, program these two buttons here to switch between my inputs here. So, so you click that and then you're right back to me and then you click that and then you're right back to this view. So that is really cool and convenient. Um, and then on the Xbox controller, these two levers are actually already um, pretty much programmed. This one here is for pan and tilt, 
Um, and this one here is for zoom control, so you don't really have to necessarily um, program those. Um, but the rest you can program any which way you like. You can just, like I showed you earlier, you know, select it from the drop down list, and um, then you're going to click set up here, and it'll save all your um, commands. Um, just a note. So these are, I program these to be my preset buttons. So let me just kind of show you. This is, I'm going to switch to my camera one and then I'm going to run my camera one through my presets. Right? Um, but just to know, um, if you want to set your buttons up to run presets, then you must already kind of set them up on the main controller over here. So I already set my presets before um, and then you just go down here and then um, assign the, the number of the preset to the button that you want. The other cool thing about PTZ Joy Controller um, that gives this um, better performance um, is that it has actually three joystick performance modes that can be activated in the software while using an Xbox controller um, to give you even more precise control. So the first one I'm going to show you, it's our, actually already on. Um, it's our slow joystick mode. This mode allows for much smoother camera control by expanding the joystick travel time between speed changes. So let me show you this on the second camera. Okay, so I'm going to go to my preset. And so, you know, let's you turn this off. And we're going to do, you know, this this goes pretty quickly, right? If you turn on slow mode, this is, goes slower. You click it again, cycle through it, slow two, it goes even slower. Slow three, even slower. So this just gives you a little bit more control kind of over what you're doing. I like to work with, you know, slow one, slow two. Now, the soft joystick mode, um, this mode allows for gradual speed acceleration of, of the camera for a flying camera effect. So let's go ahead and click the soft button and then go ahead and see how it gradually accelerates. And, and this too is also affected by this slow mode. So, you know, if you want to turn this off, it's even, even more pronounced acceleration, but kind of gives you that flying camera effect, right? Now, the last mode, which is also really handy, is our pan-only joystick mode. So let's go ahead and turn this off. I'm going to turn my slow back on. Um, and pan-only, click here. And this mode limits camera movements to pan-only on the x-axis. So usually this would be, you know, use it for tilt, or for tilt, but this just lets you pan. So if you, you know, you don't want your camera to go up or down, you just want to pan only. This is a really great mode for that. So that is pretty much how you use an Xbox 360 controller as a professional PTZ camera controller. I mean, there's a lot of great features um, on it. You know, you can use it with our software with minimal hardware equipment um, for a fraction of the cost, actually, as a lot of the um, dedicated hardware controllers out there. So um, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, I'm going to post a link to this um, um, knowledge base that we have on our website as well as the, as the blog post so you can get a little bit more information of exactly the steps of um, how to configure all your buttons and everything else. Until next time, stay tuned. I'm going to do a video about the gaming um, joystick controllers with the handles um, that are actually super fun to you. So that'll be our next video. So stay tuned and thank you so much for watching. Catch you next time.